Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Schick. I'm here to talk to you about pulmonary POCUS, point of care ultrasound for COVID-19. Now, you may be familiar with using pulmonary point of care ultrasound for looking at pulmonary edema for CHF patients or trying to find bacterial pneumonia, but we've learned lessons from the influenza pandemics, SARS and MERS, that helps us differentiate between viral and bacterial pneumonia, but also just has demonstrated the utility of point of care ultrasound for risk stratifying these patients and these diseases. Just off the presses, we have a new article that categorizes all the pulmonary point of care ultrasound findings in this new COVID-19 pandemic. So I want to summarize these results, show you some ultrasound clips so you can help use this technology to help your patients. Now, the primary things you're looking for with point of care ultrasound is first pleural thickening. If you've seen a CHF patient with pulmonary edema, they usually don't have pleural thickening. They just have nice B lines coming from the pleura. This is gonna be different. Number two, you're looking for B lines. Those are those long vertical lines from the pleura all the way down to the bottom of the screen. They can be discrete, multifocal, or confluent, and we'll see examples of all those. And then also you're looking for small subpleural consolidations. We tend to think that viral pneumonias usually make small subpleural consolidations less than one centimeter, and when they get greater than one centimeter, it's more likely to be a bacterial pneumonia. We've seen with this disease, COVID-19, that you can have subpleural consolidations, large lobar consolidations, and multi-lobar consolidations. However, that will help risk stratify these patients with your ultrasound findings. And it should be noted that point of care ultrasound will be much more sensitive than a chest x-ray. So we should at least consider this as our primary diagnostic tool. Now in more advanced disease, the patients can have lobar or multi-lobar consolidations. These patients will likely be much sicker. And also, in the cases so far, to see a pleural effusion has been very rare. Now, we're going to review what the lung findings will be on ultrasound. If you find this intimidating, just identifying what B lines versus A lines are, I'm going to refer you back to this session we did with my seven-year-old that could easily identify what B lines are. In our first clip here, we have a normal adult lung. At the very top of the screen is the pleura. We have a rib shadow here, rib shadow on this side. We have nice horizontal A lines. Example of normal aerated lung. Let's move on to a lung that has some very mild pulmonary edema. The pleura is here again, rib shadow here, rib shadow. An A line is here, and then we have these sort of discrete lines coming from the pleura and shining down like a flashlight to the bottom of the screen. These are discrete B lines, and the pleura just appears very thin and normal. It's not thick, it's not uh, irregular. And side by side, we have a nice A line pattern on the right, normal lung, normal aeration, and on the left, a B line pattern with pleura and multiple B lines. Here's an example of multiple B lines in a very thick and irregular looking pleura line. So you can see the pleura at the top, there's all these things sort of underneath it, make it look thickened, almost like a subpleural consolidation, but not quite, and all these big B lines coming from it. So these are discrete and confluent B lines with a very thickened pleural line. This would be very concerning for viral pneumonia, COVID-19, perhaps early bacterial pneumonia. Here's a pediatric patient that had cough and fever. And here's a rib with shadow, rib shadow another rib that shadows. This is the pleural line. You can see in between the ribs, an A line below it. You have one little line coming from the pleura, maybe a common tail artifact because it doesn't go to the very bottom of the screen, I think, or it might, so it would just be one B line. So this looks like pretty normal aerated lung. And this side, you have several confluent B lines in this sort of lung space, more than three. They're all sort of together here with a little bit thickening of the pleura. So this is a focal beeline pattern, would certainly be concerning for uh, a viral uh, pneumonia, a, a viral infection such as COVID-19 or other virus, or it could be early bacterial pneumonia, but this is much more consistent with a viral infection. Now you don't want to just stop if you see this one focal area of beelines on one part of the lung, you need to evaluate the lung in entirety and the contralateral lung to see if this is a multi-lobar infection. Here's another example of a very thickened 
plural line, irregular, with an early subplural consolidation. You don't even quite see exactly where the plural line is. Instead, we see this sort of hypochoic mess underneath it, and then this really bright uh, hyperechoic material with a confluent beeline below. This is very concerning for um, a viral or bacterial pneumonia. If this subplural consolidation is going to be more than one centimeter, we're thinking about bacterial etiologies. But in the setting of COVID-19, we are seeing lots of large lobar pneumonias that are even multi-lobar. And so we need to think about that in this setting. It would be a sign of a more advanced disease. Don't forget about confounding diagnoses. Patients can have chronic pleural thickening if they have pulmonary fibrosis, if they have other chronic lung diseases, and they could have B lines for other reasons like pulmonary edema. And here's just a still image to show you the pleura, rib shadows, and then you have this nice delineated subpleural consolidation and a confluent B line pattern below it. You're going to see many of these in bad viral disease, usually less than one centimeter in size. We are seeing larger ones in this pandemic. It can be a sign of a secondary bacterial infection. And finally, this is an example of a lobar pneumonia. This is the lung. It's completely consolidated. There's probably a whole bunch of pus in here. It looks like a solid organ like the liver, except you can see air bronchograms within it. So all these really hyperechoic lines is air within the bronchioles moving around. This is some air as well. And you can see this with bacterial pneumonia very commonly, but we're also seeing these with COVID-19 infections. So to summarize, look at the pleura, see if it's thickened or irregular. We're looking for focal bee lines in early disease, but you can also see multifocal or confluent bee lines. Subpleural consolidation is less than one centimeter, most likely a viral illness. Greater than that, maybe bacterial, but we're seeing larger ones with COVID-19 infections. More advanced disease is going to have low bar consolidations or multi consolidations in different lobes, and pleural effusions are rare. The butterfly network is collecting some cases with some real clips from coronavirus infections. I'm going to put a link to that on my website so you can see some real cases. You'll see how they look similar to what I've just shown you. So consider point of care ultrasound in the diagnostics of COVID 19 infection. Make sure to wear all your proper PPE, as well as clean the machine appropriately after these encounters.